I just wanna love on you, trust in you, honor you Please do the same on your part It's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you're new here, consider tapping the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So I know y'all saw the title, we are dyeing some hair today. Well, we're more so toning blonde 613 hair. I actually have a video that I did back in 2019 on how to dye a synthetic wig. Y'all really liked that video and some of y'all still ask me about the things I did in that video, which is really cool. So if you have no idea how to dye a synthetic wig, definitely watch that video after this one just to see more of what I had to say back then. But yeah, I'm excited because I haven't tried any type of hair coloring in a while and I just have so much fun with it. We are working with Miss Kamalia. Woo! She is blonde, y'all. <laughs> done blonde hair like this before I reviewed sensational Morgan in 613 color I'll link it down below I felt like such a bomb ass bitch in that wig I really did now I'm anticipating the same with this unit the thing with toning blonde wigs the reason why you do it is to take out some of the yellowness or the brassiness in a wig some people might say that oh I don't want to rock blonde hair because it doesn't look good on my skin tone and I always say like nah sis go rock that blonde but I know for me there are certain blondes that complement my skin more than others so like they really yellowish type of blondes like in the 613s it's okay I can do them but I like a more ashier blonde. Honestly, this blonde in person, right now it looks like really white on camera, but in person, it doesn't look that yellow. <laughs> this is definitely a more of a, uh, I guess you could say whiter 613 because I've had some really yellow ones in the past. But I am curious to see how the method I'm using today will make this look like maybe more like an ashier blonde. We'll see y'all, I, I don't know. I haven't toned a, a wig before and I actually had to go check out some old videos by my girl Jessica, aka Wigs and Wonderless. I watched two of her videos. So shout out to you Jess because you are helping me out today. <laughs> to make sure I do this thing right. And in case you missed it, Altre did just drop a new wig from the Melted Hairline series, which is the wig that I have in my hand right now. Her name is Kamalia, and she is absolutely gorgeous on the stock card. Oh my God, this girl looks so good. Melted Hairline series is like my favorite synthetic wig series out right now. I love it because you get like a frontal effect hairline without having to deal with the full frontal. I also really like the ear contour that they do, which I think is great for people who have a lower hairline, basically a hairline that comes forward more on the forehead. And yeah, the price point is awesome. Normally it's under $40. You know what's funny? I wasn't even gonna do this video right now. Like I had a plan to dye some hair like in June, July, but when I went to go buy this wig, y'all bought all the natural colors. Y'all bought every color in sight. And I can understand because this is like the sister to Atre Kamaya that everyone loves, including myself. So all I saw was 613 left, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna work with that. We're gonna, we're gonna try to tone some hair. I do have Miss Kamaya here in the ginger brown, just so you can see the difference. You see? Kamalia is definitely longer. And as I'm looking at this cap, I feel like they gave us more space in the front. I think they gave us more lace with Kamalia. I'll try to do a comparison after the video. But you still have your two combs in the front with the adjustable strap and the comb in the back. Now, if you're curious about how I'm wearing my hair right now, this is not my natural hair, y'all. This is definitely a wig, and I'm fooling people all summer with this joint right now. I premiered this on $20 Tuesday the other day, and I just love it. I just love the vibe that this wig gives. It's definitely great for people who want the starter lock look without the starter lock commitment. So if you're interested in that wig, I will link the video down below because I think that was a great video and y'all should just go watch it. This wig was only like $24, y'all, on Amazon and y'all have been buying it up. But yeah, y'all, it's time to get into the tutorial and I pray that this comes out well. So if you're ready to see me tone the synthetic blonde 613 wig, keep on watching. 
All right, y'all, so you'll need this Rit dye in the royal purple color, rubbing alcohol, a baggie, and of course your 613 hair. Once you have all these items, then you can begin. So you'll see here that I started pouring the alcohol in the baggie, and then lo and behold, there was a hole in the bag. Oh, so shit. annoying, so I had to quickly grab a pot and just <laughs> salvage the rubbing alcohol that I had left through the pot. It was kind of wild, but luckily, C was able to help me out, and she ran to the store and got me some more rubbing alcohol. But this is what the hair looks like beforehand, and I will show, show before and after pictures later on in the video. I'm using four capsules of the RIT dye, and that was definitely enough to complete the job. I used my hands to move the hair around in the bag, but next time I will just use like a wooden spoon or something because my hands were so purple after this process. And of course it came off like in the shower later on, but it was very purple. I wanted to make sure I had enough rubbing alcohol to coat all of the hair. So I did use the rubbing alcohol that C got from the store, 99%. So why was it like $5 at the dollar store? Like what is that about? Anywho, so I continued mashing the hair and I did this process for like a good, I don't know, maybe like five minutes or so. Honestly, I don't think it takes long for this process to work. And you can see what the wig is looking like with the purple coating it. So afterwards, I threw this in the dryer. I've done this before with other human hair wigs, never with a synthetic wig, but we're just going to see what happens. Um, I put it on low heat, but like... A minute in, I just amped it up to medium because I kind of was in a rush. <laughs> Upon taking out the dryer, it was very dry and I kind of wish I prepped it beforehand. Um, it looks pretty tangly and so this is where it got pretty interesting. I did go in with my paddle brush and my Simply Styling silicone spray and I had to do this section by section. I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera, but I just went downstairs and did it and you'll notice right here. Yeah, this is when I started using the spray. It was a lot easier after that. I also used my regular water bottle spray and sprayed just some water and that helped with the softness as well. So definitely when you are toning this synthetic wig, you know, just let it dry overnight. <laughs> if you're gonna use a dryer, just be prepared to take it out, you know, as soon as possible. And also the cap was still wet when I took it out the dryer, but it dried as I was doing this process. So once I was all done the tangling it was looking good as new and it feels really soft you can see that it's definitely a platinum blonde now so I think this was a successful toning session I'm really proud of myself and now you're gonna see how it looks on me and I will share all of my thoughts with you on my process fam so i am back and your girl <laughs> your girl is looking icy what okay come on okay kamalia what do y'all think drop me some comments down below premiere party i know you're watching with me right now let me know how you feel the girls are sitting okay <laughs> Oh man! I can't wait to show C this because when I wear a blonde like this, C likes to cash out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so I really like Kamalia. I think she's an awesome unit. I did have to cut about an inch off though because it was just a little bit longer than I wanted. But right here at boobies, I'm liking that a lot. I also trimmed a little from the bang area because I just wanted to frame my face a little bit more. Now let's talk about this dyeing process, okay? Because I, you probably made a few mistakes, okay? So the first mistake was not checking the plastic bag. <laughs> it definitely had a hole in it. So legit, I was pouring the alcohol in there and then everything just started splattering on the table. I was like, oh my freaking God, you're wasting all my alcohol. And I only have one bottle of rubbing alcohol. Like, who keeps like five bottles of rubbing alcohol? Not me. So, C came upstairs and saw like what was going on. And she was like, you want me to run to the store? I'm like, no, it's okay. I don't need to go to the store. <laughs> she was like, nah, I'm going to get you some more. So, she grabbed another bottle 
of the 99% one, which is fine. 70% alcohol is fine. And then I finished the job. And using four capsules of the RIT dye seemed to be fine. Now listen, I know I said this in the voiceover, I'm saying it again. If you're gonna use this dye, whether you're dyeing a synthetic wig, to dye it a color or to tone it, please get the one that says synthetic, y'all. Do not get all purpose. You will not dye your hair. Nothing will happen, the color will wash off. You need to get the one that says synthetic because this is a synthetic wig. We're talking about synthetic fibers, so this is what you need, okay? And RIT dye is like my go-to. So another thing, when it came time to dry the unit, right? I was like, I'm gonna just toss it in the dryer. Now, I know it's a synthetic wig. I've only used human hair wigs in the dryer, so I really didn't know what was gonna happen. I figured it might get a little tangly, but I wasn't really worried about it. In retrospect, I would have actually prepped the hair a little bit more. I, I probably would have sprayed my Simply Styling Silicone spray, and I also probably would have sprayed like a water conditioner mix because when it came out the dryer, it was super dry, right? Like it's one thing to be tangled, but the dryness factor just made it 10 times worse. That made it um, the process a little bit longer when it came to the tangling, not too much longer. I had it in the dryer for about 10 minutes. I started on low, but I amped it up to medium, and that probably contributed to the dryness as well. But y'all, let me tell you, this right here was my saving grace. Literally, and I'm sorry I didn't show y'all on camera, but it was too much with my wig stand. Bring it up here. I just went section by section, spraying it, and then using my paddle brush and brushing it out. And that brought this back to life. Absolutely love this stuff. I have an entire dedicated video to the Simply Style and Spray. And a lot of y'all went out and bought it again. If you're new here, you need to check this out. It's linked down below. If you wanna try this spray, check out my video explaining what it does, and then you can click the link to buy the spray. But outside of that, I mean, I think it came out looking absolutely gorgeous. This is the type of hair that you wear for like a photo shoot or, you know, you're going out with your girls and you really want to stand out, like this is that type of hair. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the rooting. One thing that really, really grinds my gears is seeing super bright blonde hair and then a super dark root that is like not blended. Like I really, ugh. Can you imagine if I had a 1B root on this hair, y'all, and it was like 1B platinum blonde? like. Come on now, let, let, let's stop doing that in 2021, okay? Let's gather together and get with the soft rooting because that's what I tried to do here and I think it came out really well. What assisted me the most with this process was my Evan Tint Spray in the color Darkest Brown. I wasn't even planning on having a root for this wig. I was gonna have it do like platinum blonde just like straight from root to tip. That's what I wanted. But when I was spraying the spray, it was getting on the hair. And I don't I don't really know how to spray it without it getting on the hair, so I should have known. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? This is looking like a nice rooting situation. So literally, once I realized how it was looking, I literally just put the hair back like this, took the spray, and I just pressed very lightly like this. Hold on. You see that? Very, very lightly, y'all. And I just like went like that. Be very careful with how you use this because this nozzle is like very like, you know what I mean? So when I try to press it softly, a little bit will come out, but this is not the best nozzle if you want a soft spray, if, if that makes sense. If I pressed it full on, oh my God, it would just be like, psh like a blast of brown and I didn't want that so I had to be very careful but that's what I did and that's why you see the rooting I did that along here and I did it a little bit over here I didn't want it too much because I just wanted to keep it very subtle like I wanted it to frame my face over here the coloring that you see on top here is from when I sprayed the lace from underneath I did spray it in the parting area and so that's why it looks like that and I think it looks damn good like is this a synthetic wig for real? Or is this human? Come, <laughs> Come on, y'all. Look, I got this new little rolly chair and I don't know how to act. <laughs> also, another thing that I really want to caution y'all with, okay? Sometimes I see people try to come in here and put concealer 
in the part to make a like make it stand out i'm telling y'all please don't do that please don't do that the best option honestly is to you know apply whatever you need underneath but i wouldn't even apply hold on but i wouldn't even apply concealer underneath i'm actually fine with it just looking like this because I think it looks pretty good, but if you have any other tips on that, let me know. But when you apply concealer on top here, it looks orange. Trust me, I've done it before. I've seen other people do it on camera. It doesn't look good. Don't do it. This is, this is, this is stunning. I know a lot of people are not going to want to wear platinum hair, but I think dark skin is made for brighter colors and I haven't done this in a while. And when I saw that y'all bought up all the 1Bs and number 2s, I was like, you know what? Let's just play around with the 613. And I hope you guys can tell the difference between what it looked like before and what it looks like now. It's definitely giving me platinum. Like before, it was lighter. But there was still like a little yellowish tint. Again, this wasn't the yellowest 613 I've tried. But it was still there. You see the comparison? That is what this does. And you have to get the color purple, okay? Coloring is an art, y'all. It seriously is an art. If you go to hair school, you have to learn all about color theory because you don't want to, like, mess shit up. You don't want to mess it up. When it comes to taking out, like, yellowish tones, purple does that. So overall, I'm really happy with the way this came out. If you want to see me do this on a shorter wig, I would be happy to. I actually have a short blonde wig my stash that i have not reviewed for y'all that is just sitting there collecting dust like so many other wigs i have but yeah if you want to see the short blonde wig let me know because i would definitely wear a short blonde wig during the day this long one uh i probably would reserve this for nighttime but yeah this is looking good man look i'm definitely looking like someone's sugar baby <laughs> oh my gosh wow mm. I'm here for it. Also, y'all, if you're curious about my eye look, I like to use this glitter palette from Amazon. This palette is $9.99, y'all. And I use this blue color over here. These two blue colors, I combined them. That's what got the look that I'm wearing today. And I just love that palette. It's so cheap, yet so effective. And I use some Jivia's Place shadow on the um, outer area. My description box is full of links if you wanna know what I'm wearing and the products that I use for the hair, for my makeup, all that is in my description box. So definitely check that out. Ooh, one last thing before we go. When you're doing this process, wear some gloves because I'm purple. <laughs> I have a purple hand right now, and I'm about to go to happy hour with the purple hand, but hey, it is what it is. All right, y'all, so let me know what you think about this process. How do you feel about Kamalia in this platinum blonde toned 613 color? Are you here for it? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. If this is something that you're going to try this summer, definitely let me know in the comments because I really want to inspire a few of y'all to, you know, try something new. I know blonde can be very intimidating for a lot of us, but it's 2021 and like I said in, in my last video, I want us to try something new. So if you feel me, let me know. And if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want to see me in more blonde hair, I have a blonde hair wig playlist. I will link that down below. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next